Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Oh, it's been a long time. We're actually not in Skyrim, I take that back. We're in Solstheim still. Took a little bit of reminding myself and looking around where I left <laughs> off here. I had left off for, it's been over a month since I've actually played and uh, recorded any of this because I had played a lot, saved up a lot in anticipation of playing some of their games, but I had missed playing. I know some of you guys have been asking about it, so I'm back in here. And I believe that we were on the search for the Death Brand uh, armor where we left off. I think that we got this one, this one. We were in Ravenrock last episode, and just as a reminder, and kind of to do a little bit of battling, I headed up this coast. I did pick up this one, and I am right about in this area here somewhere. So this should be the last piece of death brand armor and then if we look at the map one of the things we're supposed to do is go over here to ben kong Greeky and do something but there's also a stalrim source here that we want to check out i believe the last bit of death brand is somewhere in this general area maybe by the cave somewhere somewhere in here so we're going to head down check this out then we'll make our way across and check out what this stalrim source is and make our way over to here. So let's get to it. Man, it has been a while. I really love this game. This game is... Ooh, jeez. Wrong button. I just did some kind of shout. What are my shouts? Do I have clear skies? I just cleared the skies. That's good. That's okay, right? Clearing the skies of, of bad things. This is a game that I, I really like to play when I'm kind of... You know, just relaxing and hanging out and want to just my, enjoy myself on a, on a, you know, just a adventure, really. But I'd been playing a bunch of Battlefield and different things came out. New consoles are coming out, so... Do I have to really go across here? Are these guys bad? I've never... I don't think I've gotten in any fights with them. So we're going to just cruise across here. But, yeah, it's, um... You know, I know that I, I appreciate there's a group of you guys that watch and love these things. You probably love Skyrim as much as me, or maybe you just like watching me play, and it's not necessarily a game that you play yourself. And I appreciate that. That's I like having that diversity. There's a chest right there. So, oh, freaking hunters! They must be protecting the chest. Oh, oh, show show a little reload animation there, huh? You gonna? from me little dude little fella okay so this there's a chest right here adept we can take care of that if I remember correctly ah! Hoot. Hoot. Um, I'd like to hit the chest there we go. Here, it must be some kind of almost auto aim okay so death brand gauntlets while dual wielding, your one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each death brand item you wear. Gildenhall Barrow Key. Complete using death brand. Explore Gildenhall Barrow. Where is Gildenhall Barrow, I wonder, huh? Gildenhall Barrow. Over here? Oh, okay. So this is, there's the Skull Village. Like, the first piece of Death Brand, I believe, was like right out on one of these islands. So we can check that out too. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up inland to see what the deal with the stall room source is. Cause I would like to get some of the, some stall room just to have it maybe, maybe make some weapons out of it. I know you can make armor armor out of it hmm we need to find ourselves Hope we don't run into too many ash spawn yeah tell me about it we need to find ourselves a way up here I believe I've made a, a lot of lot of computer changes since the last time I played this uh, with graphics cards and drivers and settings and all kinds of stuff I mean the game is looking beautiful on my monitor I hope it comes through for you guys. It really, really just looks incredible. 
really the only graphical glitch is I always seem to get a graphical glitch uh, when I'm down on that shoreline of the water, really. I, You know what? I guess that's Skyrim over there, right? Because we're like in an island off Skyrim, and that must be it over there. Hmm. Pretty cool. But yeah, everything looks, like, realistic. Like, everything looks real. Like, the sky is ridiculous, too. Alright, so we've got all kinds of things on our map. This Stalrim source. Where would that be? Alright, so, okay. So it's that thing. going to find our way to this. Some of this area here, if I remember right, is pretty rocky... Kind of hard to find your way around this area. You don't know if it, you're going to be able to, to pass like this area right here. It's like, am I going to be able to get over this or? All right, so it's down over here. It seems. I don't think I'm taking the. Yeah, see this. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, look at this. It's like in a. Wow, this is a this is an area that's hard to get to. I'm I'm actually probably pretty lucky I just found this. Unless there's some kind of weird pa another pathway to get down here. Stallroom source discovered. Maybe oh right there, that's where you're supposed to actually come up. Achievement Solstheim something. All right. Look at all this. Looks like a lot. Mine Stallroom deposit. All right. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't, you know, in all of the videos that I've done, all the different uh, chapters, I haven't done a lot of actual mining like this. I mean, I did a little bit here and there to get some some different stuff, but in general, not a whole lot of my. Wow, this takes a while. Oh my goodness. Can I even do it with it? Okay. There's a dude in here. He's got some gold on him. Nice. Am I going to have to do that for all of these things? I wonder if I should cut this part out or just speed it up because... Well, I don't know. Anytime you want to head to Skyrim. <laughs> Anytime you want to head to Skyrim, I'm right with you. I've spent enough time and souls done will last a lifetime. That is one of his classic phrases there, Teldrin. He's... I guess he's pretty burnt out here. I, I don't know. I guess I'll take him back. He could probably go back with me, right? Got some more stall room added. There is just a lot here. Now, this stuff, it looks pretty cool. Like, the Death Brand armor almost looks like it's got stall room on it as well. Um... I'm definitely probably, well, I probably won't use the Deathbrand armor, but I would like to go back and put it like on one of my mannequins. You know, that way it'll, you'll be able to kind of show off your armor. And I did see a video on, an, I don't know if it's a new um, mod, but it's a, a pretty cool, really cool player home. And I don't remember what it's called right now as we speak, but it's... It's kind of in the hills outside of Whiterun, and it's you enter it through a cave, and then it sits kind of like in its own little area, and it's got this really cool sorting system. I think I'm going to try and probably add that mod in, and, you know, even though I have the other player homes, I haven't used them. I think that I'll probably use this one. It looks really, really neat. It's, it's not, and the cool thing about it is it's not over the top. You know, that's the thing. A lot of the player homes that I was looking at and trying to choose ended up being so big and so kind of gaudy, you know, they're just really over the top. Basically too much area. Like if you, if you go into a hall that's, you know, like that one that I added, the, the, what was it, Dragon, it was like Dragonborn's Warehouse or something like that. Just huge, way too big, right? It was over the top and I kind of like the idea of it not being so big, you know? We're almost done here, guys. I need to get some of this stuff, so I'll have it. Stall rim. 
Because you, there is a Stalrim bow you can make. And, I mean, I've been using the uh, Dragon Bone Bowl, and I don't know how... We'll see. We'll see, like, what the uh, damage is on this versus that. And if it looks cool, that's one thing. If the damage is close, as long as it looks cool, maybe we'll end up using that as well. I still, I'm holding on to two uh, perk points because I still want to uh, end up going up the enchantment tree to where I can enchant my items with two enchantments. So I still am waiting um, on my, I think the smithing perk needs to be at 100 to get to that. So I'm holding on to those perks just for that. Um, everything else is pretty solid. Archery, one-handed, my block. All of that is pretty solid right now. So I'm not too concerned with with holding on to those and not spending them right away. I think I'm, don't run into like level, I'm in the high 40s level-wise, so it's not too bad. We're almost done here. Last one. Delicious. Stuff looks really cool. You guys know I like the color blue, and it's kind of like an ice blue color. Pretty cool. I would imagine the bow, or maybe even one of the swords, might look pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Diamond added. Wow, Stalrum and diamond. No wonder it's so hard to break. It's like a combination of two really hard materials. These poor guys. I'm uncovering their graves. All right. I think... I don't see anything else. We got those, these two, none of this stuff. All right. Took care of that. What did the horse is following me around? All right, let's see where we're at now as far as we've got all this stuff. We've hit all these places. We've done a pretty good job actually hitting everything. Hrothman's Barrow. We haven't gone through there. I remember this area. If we could just get up and over this edge, I, I, I'm I afraid we're probably going to have to go around and up through here. Oh, it's a black book mission, okay. Or quest. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to be able to get out of here any other way than this way, so let's just roll with the punches. Can we go off this direction? Are those the little fellas down there? I think they are. Oh, they see me. I'm probably going to lose my my followers going this route, but... Whoa. Hello, Mr. Boar. Sneak attack. <laughs> Bristol... Br Bristol... Bristolback. Let's see, he's a Bristol Babcock. <laughs> I'm a Bristolback. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These colors here, this almost looks like a bunch of Stalrum as well. That kind of icy blue color. All right, maybe we can get back up this way. That is a, a fairly well-hidden source there. I guess that's <clears throat> meant to protect that. Seeing that Stalrum is... Castle... Seeing I'm in some ruins, but I, I don't actually see anything. I wonder if it's under underneath me. Wow, it looks like that there is some fissures here, some crevasses in the ice. Oh, this isn't good, Meaty. You think I can get across here without falling over? Oh my gosh, that, that right there is not safe. I don't recommend that. That's That kind of parkour action right there is not, not the best thing. All right, where are we? Is this that... This is that dragon thing that we fought. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, so we'll go... We'll, we just keep going around this. We came through here and cleared out this dragon. It did kill us. You guys remember, it killed us the first time through. Looks like we're heading up this way. Oh, Teldrin! You, you guys all found a shortcut. Look at that. They found a shortcut. Man... Maybe they should lead instead of me. I don't know why I'm leading. Alright, here we go. Ben Kongriki. However you pronounce that. I could literally murder every word in here because of the uniqueness of them. <laughs> Maybe I just shouldn't try and pronounce them. Hmm. Does this seem like I've been through here before? 
Despite the foul beings that infest this place, I'm certain we'll find plenty of wealth to make it worth our time. Well, I sure hope so. But I, I'm... Oh, okay. I think we're gonna go crossbow on these fools. I thought I had made it through here, but... Maybe not. Maybe I didn't go... Oh, yeah. Oh, what the deuce? That guy just throw a tomahawk at me? Oh, he's throwing... Oh, it's their spears. You know, for being little short dudes and those those really fat spears, they, they sure do chuck them a long way, don't they? Get him, Telburn. I'll take care of this dude. Dragon bone crossbow. Alright. Let's take a look inside here. So it's showing retrieve the black book. Solstein. This is where we came in. The, these maps, these interior maps, really fool me sometimes. It's telling me to go. I must really wind my way around in here. Get oh, whoa. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh my gosh, I actually just leaned. Like I leaned in real life. Like, when I did this, I, I leaned over. All right, I'm a, I'm a weirdo. I know, I can admit it. I have 200 dragon bone bolts of speed, so I'm not... I'm not really concerned with uh, going and retrieving them if they're if they're kind of far away. Hello. I do really like the crossbow though. I really like the crossbow. Oh, that was a waste. All right, friend, come get some. Yeah. Oh, Teldrin, sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. I think did I block that one? Oh yeah, I think I blocked that one. Is there one? Uh, he's still alive? Give me a kill move on the little fella. Right, we are really working our way through here. Oh, oh dude! I forgot they hide in barrels. Hi! They like to hide in barrels. Doink! Where's the next one at? Doink! Pretty interesting little trip devices these guys use, huh? Doink! <laughs> you just stay away from me. Against the white background, it was a little bit obvious where their traps were. Oh, man, that's gotta hurt. That has gotta leave a mark, my friend. Yeah, I totally remember like coming through here. Unless this is reminiscent of another another location that looked just oh, nice. Crossbow is so solid. I'm so glad we did the uh, Dragonborn one first to be able to get access to crossbows. Okay, so yeah, I am pretty much winding my way around. Can I sneak attack on this? No, he sees me. Uh, yeah. He just got owned. I don't think these guys are a regular pickaxe. These guys aren't, um... Despite the foul beast, These guys aren't gonna actually give me my, my uh, bolts of speed back anyway, so it's not really worth searching them. And I think I'm pretty... F I'm, I'm actually pretty full on... I don't want to overweight myself just in case, you know what I mean? He's still alive. Oh! That was... Dude, just got one-shotted. You like tasting the bolt of speed. Alright, so that's that one. I am... Wait. I came across that way. Oh, this way, this way, this way. This can get very confusing. Very, very confusing. Uh, this looks more like... Oh, jeez, Louise. Alright, Teldrin. I think I just hit Teldrin again. These guys are actually pretty good. Who's left? This dude? 
All right. The Great Hall. What? Yeah, get out of my way, dude. All right, where are we? There's some weird markings on the walls. So we're approaching, we should be approaching a black book. And because we have the Bend Will Shout, I think that unlocks us to go fight Mirak. Like, if we're, if we think we're ready for Mirak. There's a key there. Something that way. Got your door. What is this? Okay, I got it. Found a key. A chest. Ice storm. I don't know if I have that. Longbow. Hmm. Dragon language. Myth no more. Does this actually help you read the dragon language? All right, we have got to be close to something here. Oh. Man, this looks familiar. This totally looks familiar. Oh. Hello. Get. Oh, I'm getting hit by. I need to go. Get. Stop throwing spears. Where's that other guy at? You get him, Teldrin? Oh, nice. Nice. There's a dude right over there. Oh, he moved. Oh, he's crafty. He's crafty. Dude, every time I go to shoot him. Did that guy run? He's not dead yet? Oh, I missed. I missed. Get off him. Alright, there he is. I missed again. This dude up here. Alright. He's down. He's down. Alright. We've got a door. We've got what seems to be a door. A coin purse. I would imagine that... Explore... Retrieve the black book. So if we're going, probably going to go through here. Then go find this black book, huh? Oh, wait. Did I just hear a word wall? <clears throat> I think I just heard a word wall. Oh, it's right there. There's a word wall in there. All right, so is it as simple as what's over the top of it? Could it be that easy? Whale, whale, snake, hawk, hawk, hawk. That one is missing. Take the goblet. Okay, so that one's missing. No hawk. Let's try snake. No snake. Let's try whale. It's whale! Does Is it me or does this door look like it's... got magic properties on it? What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Give me something good. Word of power learned. Unleash cyclone. We're gonna unleash the cyclone. Banded armor, gold, frost abatement. Well, sixty percent. That's actually pretty good. All right, we've got to be close to this thing. It doesn't actually. We're not that close. We're gonna. We're gonna go ahead and take it. Oops, I got my thing out. That's why. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and take a break here at the word wall. Next episode, we'll continue on toward the black book. See what this gives us. One of those weird psychedelic areas again thanks for watching guys we'll see you next episode Bye.